Dog of the Week, <gasps> where each programme we try and help to get a dog rehomed. The adorable Mowgli is less than a year old and has already had a tough start to life, having been rescued by the Dogs and Homes rescue team in Portugal before being placed with the foster family over here. He's been described as an absolute sweetheart who loves to be affectionate and has lots of cuddles to give. I'm joined now by Gary Baxter from Dogs and Homes Rescue. Hey, Gary, how you doing, mate? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So please tell us some, some of these great things about Mowgli here. Mowgli, he's a fantastic dog. Um, we fostered him when he first came over back in May. Uh, he's now in foster with a family locally. We've got another one of our dogs. Um, his only downside is his meet and greet. He's a little bit shy of strangers, so he tends to bark when he first sees someone. After that, when you've got to know him, he's very loyal. He's very affectionate. He's good off lead. He's house trained. He's an absolute superstar. And do you know anything about his history or what kind of breed he is? Uh, we think he's probably uh, a Portuguese cattle dog. Um, he's got all the traits of that. We've never seen either parent. He was found at eight weeks old in the Algarve, all alone. Um, and he was taken into foster by our team in Portugal before he came to us. Is all dogs being bought across board? I didn't know that that was something that really happened. Do they, why, why has he not stayed in Portugal? Or do, they, do they like dogs less than us or something? Uh, I'm not trying to sort of in, <laughs> to, to, to offend any Portuguese Portugal, who are watching. They have so many um, unwanted pregnancies. Um, so there's a lot of abandoned litters in Portugal. Um, a few weeks ago, our ladies were out and they found 22 puppies in one day. Uh, and that was from three litters. So, you know, the numbers out there are just huge. And uh, tell us about Mowgli, does he have a lot of energy? He looks like a very friendly dog. He's got a reasonable amount of energy. He loves to play with other dogs. Um, but for the most part, he's actually very calm. Um, he's not like a, a super excited dog. He loves to chill out. Um, but equally, you know, when there's play to be had, he, he quite happily uh, engage people or other dogs in play. Obedient, can I ask? Because do you have a trouble, you know, because he's from Portugal, does he have a problem with the language now that he's come over here? No, he doesn't. Um, our ladies who rescued in Portugal uh, are actually Dutch, um, so he's multilingual. And in fact, he's, he's in foster with um, a family here who um, speak Portuguese and German. So, you know, he's totally multilingual, is uh, Mowgli. Uh, and Gary, I, I want to talk about something quite, uh, quite seriously. I mean, you've actually just come back from Ukraine, is that right? And you've been helping abandoned cats and dogs over there. How was that? Yes, yeah, so I got involved with Ukraine shortly after the start of the war, trying to give advice to refugees coming into the UK with their pets. Um, I'm fairly uniquely placed in so far that we get donations on a regular basis that we'd normally send to our ladies in Portugal. Um, but since the war started, I've diverted that. And um, I'm really proud to, that Dogs and Homes, uh, up until recently, have now managed to get in uh, 60 tonnes of food to Ukraine. Uh, at the beginning of July, I went out there, met up with uh, an international team of vet techs and vets. We went to Kyiv. We went to a shelter which was under 30 miles from the Belarus-Russian uh, border, where they had 3,000 dogs and 200 cats. Uh, and we started vaccinating and chipping uh, a number of the dogs in Kyiv and the surrounding towns and microchipping them. But the best part of what we were trying to do is we were trying to um, microchip the dogs, put their photographs up onto a portal which we're building, uh, and then when they're refugees, or I should say the people return to their homeland, we want to be in a position where we're going to try and repatriate people with their pets. That's amazing. That's well, uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, that, sounds, that sounds incredible that you're doing that. And quickly just tell us, how do we adopt Hope Mowgli there? So if people go onto our website, dogsandhomes.org.uk, uh, they'll see Mowgli's profile uh, and they're going to find profiles of other dogs that are looking for homes as well. Click on any of the links there and you'll get to our adoption form. Fill that out and then one of our adoption team will get back to you to uh, take you through the next steps.